Hello everybody, it's the Bricklord here, back with another Ninjago video, and today is super exciting news because we just got the Ninjago 2022 Summer Set list. And yeah, we usually don't get this stuff quite this early, so this is uh, a nice treat, and it's so great to be able to get to cover this right now. Obviously, images and leaked images and stuff like that are going to be much further down the line, um, but I will cover those as soon as they drop. But yeah, super excited to talk about this list, give you a few thoughts, uh, give some ideas, and yeah, that's about it. So as for that, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the list. Alrighty here, and here you guys can see the list on screen for the summer 2022 sets, and there's a fair number of them here to cover, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started with it. And the first one here is 71759, the Ninja Dragon Temple, which is a 4 plus set, and its retail right now is $40. And yeah, okay, that's quite a bit for a 4 plus set. Um, you know, I'm thinking just as kind of something to reference here, I have a feeling I kind of get the 2011 Fire Temple vibes. Obviously, it's $40. It'll be a much smaller scale, 4 plus, junior eye style. But I don't know. When it says Dragon Temple, it kind of just makes me think of the Fire Temple for some reason. I don't know. Uh, if In the comments, let me know if you kind of get that same vibe. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I'm thinking for that. Not too much on it, though, as far as, you know, my thoughts because it's a 4 plus set. It's not for me. Um, so. I am interested to see what they do a little bit with this one more so than other 4 plus sets. But yeah, that's all for that. Alrighty, and our next set on the list here is 71768 Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike coming in at $20. And the first thing I want to mention is Golden Dragon. Of course, if you have read the list, you can tell it pops up quite a bit. The first thing I want to mention with it, though, is some theories. Some people are suspecting that Golden Dragon in the title with all these vehicles that you'll see on this list means that we're going to be getting some potentially Chima inspired vehicles. And what I mean by that is, you know, in Chima, they had all sorts of vehicles that were animal inspired. And in this case, people are suspecting that the vehicles will be golden dragon animal merged. Um, I see where people are getting their theories. I don't think they're going to go that route necessarily. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the Chima sets, and I think a lot of them have gorgeous detail and are awesome. I just don't quite think that they're going to do that. I have a feeling, and what some other people are thinking, is that Golden Dragon is more of a title name for just the wave of vehicles and just makes the title of them sound better than just Jay's motorbike. So I wouldn't expect anything too crazy. Um, I think it'll just be a basic, in this case, $20 motorcycles, you know, size set for Jay, which is not bad. Jay always has uh, been popular, and to get another motorcycle for him, I think, is not too bad. So, yeah, that's all for this set. Alrighty here, and the next set on the list is 71769 Cole's Golden Dragon Cruiser, coming in at $40. And, okay, a $40 vehicle, that's Cruiser. Uh, cruiser, I have a feeling, is kind of vague. I mean, to me, I get a sort of hovering vehicle. I don't know if anybody else gets that. There's a lot that it could be. Um, so I'm curious to see where that goes for the route of what kind of vehicle it ends up being. But nevertheless, I think it sounds like a pretty good set. And $40 uh, is an interesting price. But, you know, not too expensive for some people. But... Yeah, sounds like an interesting set. Can't wait to see where it goes. Alrighty here, and our next set is 71770 Zane's Golden Dragon Raider coming in at $30. And it's a Golden Dragon Raider, not Cruiser, so another type of vehicle. Which, again, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do with Raider. Uh, the first thing that it pops into my mind for me is the Ultrasonic Raider. Of course, it's not going to be that big. It's $30, which the thing it does sort of make me think of, and it's a very recent thing, is Zane's tank from the Ultra Ninja Combo Mech from this year of the Ninjago Core set. Um, I really like that tank build, and if they do sort of a Raider tank style thing once again, um, I really like tracked and tanked vehicles, so... 
that's really cool. And so, yeah, for Zayn, I think it would be another great vehicle for him. And, yeah, not too much to say, though. Sounds pretty awesome. Alrighty here, and our next set is 71771 Dark Temple, and that could be a placeholder name because it is in parentheses, um, but this is clocking in at $80. Now this one, this one excites me, and a lot of people jump to the first conclusion that my mind went to is the 2011 Garmadon's Dark Fortress, which is an awesome set, and we haven't really got a good proper villain temple or base in quite some time so this one is really exciting definitely hyped for it uh but not too much else to say on it though super excited though can't wait to see the the design for this set because it sounds awesome Alrighty, and our next set is 71772 the crystal king coming in at 70 dollars and this is another very interesting set because as for reference here and i'll throw it up is in the Power Miners theme, uh, older theme and a slightly more obsolete theme, be it though it is still a good theme, I do like Power Miners, there was a set, interestingly enough, in that wave named the Crystal King. Now this was a very small, I'm not sure if it was 15 or maybe $20 set when it came out. Um, obviously this is $70, so our Ninjago set is going to be significantly larger, but... It's an interesting uh, coincidence, comparison, power miners, underground, crystal king, yada, yada, yada. You get the point. But um, I have a feeling it'll be a bigger crystal king boss villain and potentially a side vehicle build, so forth. I don't think it'll all go towards him. Um, but yeah, this is an interesting set for a bad guy. I have a feeling crystal king, bad dude, um, boss guy, boss villain, big monster. I don't know. All the above sounds awesome awesome and yeah definitely excited for this crystal king set all righty and our next set here is 71773 kai's golden dragon raider coming in at 90 dollars which you have to think zane got a golden dragon raider coming in at 30 dollars, and this is three times as much so i'm definitely intrigued on what they're going to do for these raider and cruiser vehicles and stuff and how they're all going to be different and sized but nevertheless uh it sounds awesome again i'm thinking the sort of tank style vehicle um so again not sure what they're going to do but again i wouldn't i would definitely not have a problem seeing a tank for kai so um yeah, you know, I, yeah, definitely am on board with the Raider set. So, definitely cool sounding. 90 bucks though. Big vehicle. Lots of money. And our next set here is 71774, just labeled in parentheses, Golden Dragon, coming in at a whopping $140, which, wow. That's my first thought is, wow. Okay, we have never had a dragon quite that scale or price which okay a few things come to mind okay it's for sure probably a golden dragon so a massive massive upscale on our golden dragons we've had before even an upscale on every dragon i'm pretty sure we've had before and okay so that's interesting is it for sure part of this line is it meant to be like a set that's going to be connected to the next season or is it potentially like a dare i say ucs set but more of like a uh collector's sort of like it's not necessarily part of the season set but is strictly a big large scaled detailed golden dragon possibly um i guess though regardless that sounds awesome I love the Golden Dragon, and if it's done to this large of a scale, it'll probably have amazing detail. So, for all of that, definitely excited. Can't wait to see what they do with this big Golden Dragon. Alrighty here, and our last set on the list is 71775 Samurai X Mech, coming in at $120, which, this begs the question once again, is this part of the next season? 
in particular of the wave or is it legacy or core or you know something like that um as far as it's concerned is it the nia samurai x mech which would make it legacy or it could be a pixel samurai x mech um for the current season regardless 120 dollars that's a large mech and this year you have to think we just got the ultra ninja combo mech which was 90 dollars and that's a large mech one of the largest we've ever had in in, in ninjago if not maybe the largest in ninjago and this will upscale it even more so interesting definitely can't wait to see how much detail and design is put into it sounds like an awesome set though i'm sort of hoping it's a remake of the old samurai x mech just me personally all righty and that now wraps up this video and that was a lot of sets and i will definitely go into more detail as soon as we get some images you know a couple or so months down the line but yeah all i can say is this wave sounds awesome and is going to be costly very costly you have to think that all of the sets on this list if you were to buy everything let's just say excluding the four plus sets because let's you know take into account most people don't get those but if you were to buy everything go hardcore and get all of your sets on this list except the four plus you're looking at five hundred and ninety dollars and six hundred over six hundred if you get the four plus set as well which that is a lot of money that is seriously a lot of dough but is it going to be worth it i hope so i can't wait to see the images for these sets but yeah with all that though i will leave you guys though for now because i don't want to hold up any more of your guys's time thanks for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed thanks for listening really appreciate it and if you guys could hit that like and subscribe, that would really be appreciated. I know I'm kind of not super active. I've just been super busy. I am planning a couple videos here soon, so I hope you guys will stay tuned for those, and I will try to get those out in a reasonable amount of time. Um, but yeah, with all that said, though, once again, hope you enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video, so bye!